please, I'm begging you, don't make the same mistake that I did. When I got my first client for my agency, I made a critical mistake that honestly cost me their business. And this is what it was. I did not sign them up onto the Go High Level software as a user. My client was literally using a Google Sheet to manage the leads that were coming in and to call them. Why I didn't sign them up on that software, I just do not know. I this is an absolute beginner mistake and I'm here to tell you that you should really avoid that if you're starting. What you should do is sign them up to go high level so that they can manage the leads on your software instead of using a Google Sheet. Not only is this easier to use, but it's also better for you as an agency owner because they're more likely to stick with you when they're using your software to manage the leads. So the first thing you need to do is when you're talking with a client, you need to set expectations. If you're talking about this service you're promoting, you're gonna help them get leads and all this stuff, well, you need to also say something like, hey, we also have this great software to manage all your leads and I'd be happy to get you set up on it. You could say something like, it's a super easy way for you to see exactly where your clients are in the process. So for example, my niche is in healthcare, so I would say something like, oh, it's a really easy way for you to track the patient journey. Have they started treatment? Have they finished treatment? What was their experience like? Have they left a review? You can track it all in one place. I'd say something like that if I was if I could go back and do this again. So please, please don't make the same mistake I did. Now, once you've decided to actually onboard them onto Go High Level, here is how you should do it. There's three simple steps. I'm gonna walk you through that. Step number one, you need to send them an email requesting the following information. Preferred email address, phone number of person at the front desk, the legal business name exactly as registered with EIN, their actual EIN number, physical address of the business, and that's it. So as you can tell, this is a pretty basic onboarding email. It's gonna say like, welcome to our company, please reply with the following information. That's it, you know, it's very bare bones. You could make this a little more fancy. You could add your logo here. That'd be pretty nice. But uh, really this is all you need and this is gonna be a simple way to get it. You could also just manually send this, but I like to make a template here and go high level just so that I can use the same exact email every time I'm onboarding a new client and it makes the process a little more seamless. Step two, once you've acquired that information is now you need to actually set up the sub account for them on Go High Level. So to set them up on Go High Level, you're gonna come into your agency view here and you're gonna come down into settings and then you're going to click over here on team right here. And then once you're in team, this is where you're going to add an employee here and you're going to use that information that you got from the onboarding email to add a user. So you're gonna add a name, an email, a phone number. You don't have to add a password because they can just set that up themselves. It'll send them an email and they can add their own password. What you're gonna go down here to do is click on user permissions. And this is important. This is where you're gonna decide what that user has access to when they're on the CRM. Honestly, for most people, you wanna check off a lot of these things because this can be overwhelming and you don't wanna give them too much to look at. The main things they really need to have access to are going to be conversations right here, opportunities right here, and maybe dashboard stats. And that's probably it. You can probably turn the rest off. So if I was going for a really simple routine with somebody who didn't wasn't super uh, tech savvy or something, I'd probably check off all the following so it looked like this. Oh, I would also leave contacts on and I'd probably leave appointments on too. So here we go. This is how I'd set it up if I was going to go real simple. Some other things you could consider adding is reviews here because that can be a helpful thing for them to look at, but really that's something that you can just do on your end. And if you're just doing this for the first time for somebody who has no idea what they're doing, maybe just allow them to see opportunities and conversations and contacts. That's really the most important ones here. And maybe the Facebook ads reporting, but I'd probably leave that off too. So then when we come down here to user roles, this is important. You don't wanna select agency because then you're gonna give them permission to look at all the sub accounts and we don't want that. So you just wanna give them permission to their sub account. So you click account here. As far as the user role, I I honestly don't know the nuances between user permission versus admin. I think admin just allows them to add more users themselves. So that's fine. I would just give admin access. That's what I've done in the past. And then here's where you get to choose the sub account that you want to add them to. So you're going to click this. It'll have a drop down of all your sub accounts and you can just select the sub account here. You can actually add multiple sub accounts. But again, if this is just for one client, obviously you're just going to add the one and you're gonna hit save here. And now you can see right here, we've got our user, the testing user here with their email. 
it's got their phone number it's got account admin and it tells us what location it's at if at any time you do want to change this you can edit this and come back here. but you can also send a verification email if you want to make sure that they are getting the email but yeah, wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, and then step three is you're going to set up a live Zoom call with them to walk them through the software and help them get set up. The key here is to have them do the process. So when you're on the Zoom call, ask them to share their screen and you're going to guide them as they are clicking through the buttons and getting logged on. First thing is you're gonna tell them to look in their email, find the email that was sent to them so, and they can click on a little button there that will allow them to log on to the software to, for the first time. You can walk them through that. The next step is once they've logged in you're going to take them to launchpad and you're going to have them do two things right away first is to connect them to facebook so i've already done this here but you'd click connect it would ask them simply to log in they're already on their computer so it's going to log into their facebook page pretty seamlessly that should be pretty easy but and you can just make sure that they can get through that part the second thing you need them to do is to log into google my business so you click connect here so you'll click connect here and it's going to take you again to a very similar thing they're going to just log in through their google and they're going to click through onto their business page that is associated with their google account those are the only things you really need to worry about right now on the launch pad the next thing you should show them is the conversations tab. I just want you to show them this so that they can see how it works. You can send a sample text message just to show them what that looks like. You're just trying to show them a brief overview of what this looks like. The next thing you should show them is the contacts tab. You can show them how all of this works here. Specifically, you can show them that if you click into a specific contact, it will then allow you to see the conversation that you have had with that contact, which is helpful. And you can reach out to them via email or if their phone number is entered here, you can just click SMS right here and it'll allow you to send a text. Then I want you to hop over to opportunities with them and you can show them how this is your pipeline where all the leads will live. You can see them all in one spot right here and you can even move them around just like this if they are moving manually from one to another. And there you go. Now you have successfully onboarded your first client onto Go High Level. You've helped them get familiar with the software. Hopefully they understand it and they know how to find the leads on the software and contact them through the software as well. Not only should this help them get better results with their leads, if they're calling the leads themselves, but it will also help you as an agency owner to hopefully retain them a little bit longer and provide a better value to them. If you want one-on-one -on -one help getting set up with Go High Level for yourself as an agency owner, be sure to sign up using my link in the description and I will be happy to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call to help you get set up and answer any questions you have about getting started with Go High Level. All right guys, we'll talk to you later.